lightweight division bout. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting! Blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 127 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Connects with the punch there. Wow. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. Just over two minutes now to go. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Lee gets caught with that punch. And he 
He's looking for that left hand, just missed. Left hand counter there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just misses with the straight left hand. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Head kick. Oh, right hand gets up to block it. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great timing. What a job to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high, and now he's got a good bad. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? First round winding down here. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Right, it looks like Steve Green got it. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Land. Now let's get back to range. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice loop and punch. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, man, that, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, huge Superman punch. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, it has to be punches and bunches. It has to be volume. And his student has certainly followed up on that apparent. So much volume, but accuracy. The accuracy of this fighter is truly unbelievable. Whoa! Whoa! Lands it. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very fast. Hit. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. All right, he closes the distance, gets a single collar tie. Just out of range with that right hook. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. 
didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a deep. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Nice punch by Lee. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this fall. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. Head kicks upon head kicks, man. I mean, generally you don't take this many head kicks. Right. You get one and you go to sleep. But he's been able to withstand it. But I'm telling you, man, he takes one more and he takes one more clean. His night's over. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. I mean, that right hand landed squares. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Can't take many of those, you gotta check. It's such a fast leg kick. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at how he's turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Punch is blocked. Wow, what a kick. Oh, big head kick there. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna put limits on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it puts a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. 20 seconds left. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. 10 seconds. Kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him driving his chin into his opponent. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Good punch. So 
he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Nice head kick. Back and forth we go here. Lee gets caught by that straight punch there. He got the turtle in that kick. Just over two minutes to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver. Oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. Ground and pound going now. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. Just misses with the right hook. really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! It's as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. I mean, he's cutting it down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big head kick lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Separate. Nice great punch. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Big head kick lands. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Circling to his right. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Ooh, big shot, Lee. 
All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Blocks the shot. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the rack. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. What a punch. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. 20 seconds left. Trying to kick the leg out. Watch knees to the body. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. Look at him drive his shin into the front of his body with that body kick. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that 